Welcome back to Math 171 Precalculus Algebra. In this video, we're going to take a look at solving a system of linear equations using the substitution method. So, we have the system of equations that turn the risk guard on. <laughs> x squared equals 2y plus 10, and then 3x minus y equals 9. So the substitution equation, the textbook says you need to solve it for one of the variables. However, you, it's not necessarily the case. Sometimes you'll see a situation that, like, both problems have an x squared in it, then it is fine if you can get that x squared in terms of y to go ahead and do the substitution that way. Now, you don't want to do something like x squared equals x plus 9, and then substitute that in for an x squared, because now you're replacing something with x with something else with x. So you need a variable equal to something that has nothing to do with that variable. Now here, we cannot replace this x squared down here, because there's not an x squared. You can run yourself into trouble if you decide to do a square root. So instead, I'm going to solve that second equation for y. So I get negative y is equal to negative 3x plus 9, so y equals 3x minus 9. And now I'll go ahead and plug that in for y in the top equation, so I get x squared is equal to 2 times 3x minus 9 plus 10. I distribute the 2, so x squared equals 6x minus 18 plus 10. Combine like terms. And then I need to get something equal to 0 here. It's probably easiest for us to work with if we Keep that x squared positive, so I'll subtract 6x from both sides. Ah, x squared minus 6x equals negative 8, and then add 8 to both sides. x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. That's something I can factor. I get x minus 2 times x minus 4 equals 0. So I get x equals 2 or x equals 4. Now, just like we did before, we need to plug those into the y equals 3x minus 9. And then we'll need to do that for both of the solutions we got here. So y equals 3 times 2 minus 9. So y equals 6 minus 9. y equals negative 3. So that tells us that 2 negative 3 is a solution. We'll do the same thing for 4. So y equals 3 times 4 minus 9, y equals 12 minus 9, y equals 3. So the point 4, 3 is also a solution. So you would write your solution set to this as 2, negative 3, and 4, 3. So that concludes this video. In the next video... We're going to take a look at solving a system of equations 
using the addition method.